All right, all right. Well, I'm out here today. Uh, it was such a beautiful day out here, I decided to come out to our local lake. And uh, you can see it behind me. Now, that's a small one. Luckily, it's just a few blocks from my house. And uh, so I can come out here and in the evenings or mornings or whatever, and hopefully there's some fish out here. But I used to, I, it's, it's a great little park, but that being said, it is that time of the year. Uh, fishing season is upon us. And I decided to come out here and take a look. And uh, in the meantime, I had designed another product. And well, let me show you what I got. All right, so, so this is a new fishing line spooler. And, and you can see right here where the clamp goes on. So you put this around your rod. And right now the counterbalance is in place. So the spooler sits on, the spool sits on top and it's set up for your bait casting reels, right? Well, when you take this counterweight off, which you can, it's a little canister and you can fill it full of your fishing, uh, fishing weights or nuts and bolts, wherever you want and store it away and just slip it on when you need it. When you take this off, well, then it spins this way. So now it's set up for your spinning reels, right? And, uh, and I can demonstrate it for you real quick. So you can see it's simple to use. And I usually don't clamp it down all the way. Um, spins freely, plus uh, you, you'll put a lot less stress on your rod if you don't you know, clamp it down all the way. But you can see the, the counterbalance here. So now it's set up for your bait casting reels, right? All right. So let's take this off and we'll put it on the, on the spinning reel. All right, so, all right, there's my spinning reel. And you can see the, the spooler is up here. The counterweight's still in the bottom, so the spool is still up here on the top. But now, now watch what happens when I take the counterweight off. There we go, it immediately falls down to the bottom. So now it's lined up with the spinning reel. Pretty simple, huh? And don't forget uh, this little case. Let me show you. Yeah, so you can just use it for your, use it for storing your uh, fishing weights or hooks or nuts and bolts, whatever you want, but this can sit on the shelf if, if you're not using it and, uh, and just put it on when you need it. Works pretty good. Well, as always, I had uh, designed this in Fusion 360, modeled it up. Now, it was actually pretty easy it is, you know, to, to model this up, straightforward uh, geometry, no big deal. Uh, the trick is I was able to model this up and it worked the very first time. Now you can see I was working with weights and counter counterbalances and just using the little trick in Fusion 360 I was able to to have this work the very first print you know. Then I just refined it getting it product ready but let me show you. Alright so here's the assembly and you can see everything is on there. Uh, let's take a look at the joints. Everything is moving like it should. Um, but the trick is, with this assembly, with the counterweight, I wanted to make sure the counterweight was gonna be effective. Uh, not too little, you don't want it too heavy or it's always gonna overpower, right? Where it's gonna be sitting like that. Um, now what I did, like for this piece here, I go in and assigned physical material here. I want it to uh, have all the physical properties of what it's made out of. And in this case under plastic, you know, ABS plastic, acetal resin, um, just whatever you know plastic that's close to it and a lot of this was uh, I did it under ABS this is actually ASA and it's almost the same weight 
and close enough anyway and uh, like here the the threaded rods I assign them uh, steel there's a the physical material and well here it is right here steel so so everything has the assigned properties on it so now when I go through uh, here are two of the results from the center of mass analysis that I previously did and you can see say this one right here the very first one that's the one I took without the counterbalance on so you can see the center of mass is is down below your axis so it'll sit like this minus the uh, uh, the counterweight of course and then the second one here you can see where it's almost balanced almost perfectly just slightly slightly off but that is with everything all this stuff on here except everything's empty right there's no weights in here this one doesn't even have any line on the spool um, so with everything on there and empty I know it's just about balanced so I know if I fill this thing full of fishing weights or nuts and bolts or anything well it's the counterbalance is gonna it, it, it's the center of mass is gonna go up you know closer this way and that's what will cause it to sink right so that's what I did and you can see it's under here under inspect center of mass then you'll go through and pick all your components. And there she blows. Like I said, it's almost balanced with everything empty. And that's just about the way I wanted it. So now I know if I'm going to add, you know, put some weights or anything in this canister I know it's gonna move you know and if you have a bigger spool if you have a bigger spool of line well you can just add more weights right so well that was it just by doing that I was able to to know how big of a canister to put in um, and the moment arm everything if I would have really reached out you know, but I, I wanted to get it as compact as I could, and with the spool, um, I wanted to fit a larger and a wider radius uh, and a wider uh, fishing line spool, also, right? So, and the canister's not too huge, but it's enough to hold a lot of a lot of weights. So, well, that was the tip of the day. Yeah, so pretty simple but really effective. Everything's spring-loaded here. Um, this is 3D printed. It's uh, using ASA filament, and if you're familiar with that, then you know that, uh, that this will withstand all the outdoor environments. Um, it's UV protected. It's uh, very strong. Uh, you can keep it in your boat. You can keep it in your garage. You can bring it out here just like I am now. And it's really made for you know, outdoor stuff. Um, but this is available on our website. Um, I don't have it on Amazon yet, uh, but you can get it on our website, v3precision.com, and it's available for this season. So, well, I guess that is it for this video. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video.